Hey, Justin, thanks for signing up for this portfolio review. I have your portfolio here and I took over. Uh, I took a look at some of the things that you wanted to improve on. So let's get into it. So I had a brief moment really quickly, just click through. Uh, I noticed that you're using Squarespace. Squarespace is fine. It's not my favorite. And uh, it's for a few reasons. And I'll talk about those briefly as we go through this. So on your homepage, I not liking this header layout specifically. I like that you have an image of yourself. I think that's great. I think a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of people uh, a while to want to include something like that. They get a little scared. Um, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Had a call come in. Anyway, back to this. So um, header image or header section. I don't like work, play, work, play. Um, it's not my favorite. Uh, I think you could do something a little bit more quote unquote traditional of sort of coming up with a statement that speaks to the type of work that you like to work on um, and what kind of design you like to do and introducing yourself in that way rather than this work, play, work, play. I don't like the scrolling thing either. It's not my favorite. Um, when we get down to uh, the grid, I a few things here. One, I noticed that you have a couple of projects or two projects, and then you are doing the bucket, the bucketing of work thing. So visually, I'm not a fan of this grid. I don't like this. Um, I don't like this like kind of mix of different shapes and sizes. Uh, so something to think about. I also don't particularly love that you only have like two quote unquote case studies here and then everything else is bucketed. Um, I noticed that you had like five years of experience from other projects, from other roles. And I think, you know, we should think about like, what are those projects in from those roles that you can pull out as case studies and really start presenting work in that way, rather than this bucketing thing, never been a fan of it. And I think if anything, it makes kind of gives off the impression to clients or to people that potentially want to work with you that you are just someone that knows how to do a bunch of different things not too particularly well thankfully like you're what you're showing me of like packaging design print design logo logos and branding social media can all be sort of under this idea of like branding and doing that sort of design graphic design rather than trying to call those out and you can work with clients and potentially do all of those things you know um Let's click into these buckets first because we knock these out. I clicked into say like packages and I'm because to me it was more interesting to, to click on like a beer can, you know, like I always like those projects. But when I click into this, you know, it's just sort of like these sections that aren't really laid out and there's not much information here other than like here are a bunch of labels that I did. And so how can we like put this together and make it a case study, you know, even if this was a passion project or a self-initiated project, whatever, like that doesn't matter. You could still kind of give insight to your process and to your thinking and the decisions that you made to end up with the result that you have here. Um, so whether that is like, you know, coming up with a name of like beers across America or 50 beers of the USA or 50 States, you know, whatever, something 50 beers in 50 States. Right. And then you kind of walk through, um, you know, why you did it for what, why you came up with this for this style or for this brewery or for whatever, you know, like that I think starts to put together a better picture of you, not only your design skills, but you as a designer and a person to actually work with. Um, going back over to, let's go to this Fago. Um, this one was Actually, no, I didn't click into this one first, but this one already, like, I love that I'm seeing a lot of images here of real stuff. That's cool. Like out in the world. Awesome. You have some mixed media stuff here and some other social stuff. I'm just not loving your layout here. I think you're trying to do too much within Squarespace and within the page layout, and you can really simplify this. Um, also... When I noticed like you're using green as like green in this beige as your, your, your brand color. But when it gets to like showing work, you know, you got to think like how this green is going to interact with the colors that you use in the actual project. And so 
Yeah, it might kind of work now because like this is a camp outdoor sort of project, but is it going to start clashing with other projects? And so I think of something a little bit more neutral, like maybe just using the beige, right? Simplifying that and potentially maybe using a darker shade or just like something like black for instead of these green sections. Um, the other thing just in general about your portfolio website, I'm not loving the typography. I think like there's just not enough intention is how, is how I'll describe it behind this kind of like wider Helvetica-esque and then this one. And I don't know if maybe it's just because like when I see like an Ariel or Helvetica being used for body copy, it just really gives me like a default kind of vibe. So it doesn't really look considered and it's not treated in a way where I would think otherwise, right? Um, I hope that makes sense. So I'd consider changing it, altering it, maybe think of a serif or just slightly adjusting font sizes. Because also the thing I'm noticing is that like in sections like this, you're um, like the word, like the lines are really long. And so it makes it kind of hard. It makes it a little bit more difficult to read. Um, what else did you want to take a look at? Let me just double check. Did we cover layout, flow, categorizing work. Yes, we talked about categorizing work. We talked about layout, product design. This is more packaging, I think. Yeah. I think what you're doing for a project like this, where you're going through like the overview for some of the materials and background of the project, and then you get into the website and TV spots. Like, I think that makes sense. Like, that's a good job. Um, but just how you have these laid out just feels a little random. It feels a little all over the place. Um, the CTA at the bottom, I would think of making it more intentional of like get in touch and having your email right there or something like that, rather than just like the fun doesn't stop. Da, 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 da. And I'm sorry if this is sounding really negative. I'm just, I, I try not to sugarcoat these portfolio reviews, but I also want to make sure that I'm like pushing you to think about these things uh, so that you can improve your portfolio website. And I'm not going to just, you know, make it really fluffy and tell you that you're doing a great job. You're doing a good job. I'm just, I think you can improve. And I think you have definitely the ability to kind of like, change some of these things and it would just look that much better. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you have my email and uh, have a good day.